Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I've done it again, finished off the Tahoe bumper. So we were over at the sand dunes, and this baby got crunched up here, so Megan was hot riding a little bit. Megan gonna show us how it's done here, test still in the old Tahoe. Checking to make sure I didn't break anything. Did I break anything? You broke it a little bit. What did I break? You can go on. Take a little video. You broke it. I broke something. I never break nothing. And I don't blame her. It's fun out there. You get carried away. So, but we come off of a berm and uh, crunch down pretty good in the front, and this baby just kind of marshmallowed right up. And so it was bowed out on both sides and pushed back and the tires were scraping on it and all that. So I just kind of roughed it out here, just screwed, cut it off. <clears throat> this damage is actually from me. So after I painted this brand new bumper, uh, like a couple years ago. First thing I did was I ran it into a damn snowbank and broke that. So that's been like that. And uh, so anyway, it was already kind of kaput. So since we already know we're going to have issues with this thing, this is the second one we've managed to break on it. And when I say we, I mean basically me. So like I say, Megan, she just uh, finished it off. I was the one that broke it. So I've kind of crude cut it off. And uh, this side here, I got to fix up a little bit to match this side more. But basically what we're going to do is kind of just rough out a little tube bumper now in front of this guy give us a little more clearance and somewhere to put a flag when we're at Silver Lake too. That's another issue too. I keep having to put the bracket on the tow hook and then I steal a shoelace to tie it into the grill so that way it doesn't flip flop around all over. So anyway, that's pretty annoying. So I'm gonna deal with that. And uh, yeah, like I say, we're just gonna get it roughed out with some tube here and uh, see what we can come up with. It's not going to be uh, nothing we're going to put a winch on or nothing. It's literally just going to be something to mount a flag to, more or less, and just kind of give us some structure up here. But the factory bumper is still there. There's nothing I've done to that. So there's these little supports down here that I'm going to cut off. We're going to get rid of the fog lights. Those I got just shoved in the bumper. And we're going to go and see if we can make custom crew runner bumper for the Tahoe here. I'm not going to put another one of these things on to know that I'm just going to blow it off again. So, anyways, so thanks for listening to that rant here for this intro, and let's get to work. <clears throat> So a couple fang tooths coming off of her now. I guess that's just the style it's going to be. So I'm digging it. But we're coming off these 
recovery points here and so just bolted through the same as those but they come through on this way the bolts for both of them they're both manufactured the same so i have to end up drilling a hole back here for this one when it's all done and put a bolt there but uh, this can be kind of the uh, basic frame of it i'm going to get a little tube here to here right in the middle and that'll start us off then i want to bend one that's going to go the whole way so we're going to go from here and I want to try and follow this line and end up kind of right on here. Probably make a little recess in this to fit the tube. Come across here, same recess in that, and follow that up. And then the bar that's in between here, I'm going to try and follow that over, tie that up. And then I've got just some little bracing and gusseting we'll put in too. And like I say, get a little flag mount on it and be right as rain. But it'll update of where we're at now, so we'll keep with it. beginnings of it there so I got this top bar here all bent up just tack welded on both sides here but so that's kind of giving us the profile of it and we'll try and make these lower bars and get everything tied in take it off chop it up cut it up do what we gotta do mm. looking pretty solid pretty much the skeleton of it right there so I got some lowers on it both sides a little gaudy looking right now for sure but we're gonna get this thing all trimmed up yet now time to pull it off finish welding what I've got put in maybe a little bit of inlays here and there and stuff like that and some gussets but I've got just kind of these little pieces of sheet metal up here, let's kind of just help keep this profile across the top so it doesn't dip down so much and cover some of this bumper cover here. And otherwise, I think we're going to fill in all this here with some plate. And then I'm going to leave all these open here, I think. Maybe just some gussets or a couple tubes or something. But otherwise, these are just going to get left open here. Chop this off there. Cap weld it get this thing going but like I said now we're gonna pull it off and do that part of it
So now this is what we got. I set you guys down for a minute and just kind of got busy here and finished welding everything up. Made some little inserts here, capped off my ends. And so this is kind of the idea now. Got some neat little holes in it, makes it look pre-runner-ish. I'm gonna put one more here and one more here, a little bit smaller than these. And then also wanna make a little kicker brace over from up here, down to here, right here to there. So make that a little more rigid. It's pretty rigid, it's just kind of wobbly. So, but we'll get that all triangulated there and see if I gotta do any more bracing on it or anything I wanna do. Thought about maybe putting some little tubes in here. May or may not, may or may not, I don't know. But anyways, that's what we're up against now. I wanna get a flag mount on it too. Maybe even two flag mounts, we'll see. But start with one and we'll go from there. And here's our finished product, all but paint. So we got this bar back here, a little reinforcement on each side. Drilled out my outer two holes here on this little front do hickam a bob, whatever you want to call it. I've got her kind of all ground down and prepped, just got to clean it. A little flag mount right there. And so this is uh, what she's going to be. And so I'm going to end up getting a little bit of truck bed liner on it. So this is what I like to use on these old girls, just because we know I'm going to bump stuff with it. And this is really easy to touch up. So this is just the Herculiner truck bed liner and I'm just going to brush it on. So. Get at her here. So closing thoughts there on the video and on the bumper has turned out great. So the wife was super happy with it. She loves it. And so it's going to totally fit the function of the Tahoe and just do everything it needs to do. Um, aesthetically pleasing, I guess. Um, it's no, you know, ramrod bumper. We're not bumping into everybody and anything like that. But it's probably shopping cart approved that you could probably bang into one of those pretty good. But um, anyways, so that was all made just using the Harbor Freight pipe bender. Uh, just schedule 40 one inch um, pipe and nothing's fancy there so it's not the most rigid thing in the world but it's definitely gonna do the trick and I appreciate everybody watching and hopefully you learned something maybe you got an ambition to do a project of your own so I appreciate it if it helped you at all maybe consider leaving a comment liking or even subscribing for more content and thanks and we'll catch you on the next one